Alright guys, my name is Mentor Goblin, and today I'm going to be answering one of my most frequently asked questions on stream, and that is, should I use elemental sharpening stones or any kind of sharpening stone rather than using poisons on my rogue? So just before we jump in guys, please do give me a quick follow on Twitch if you want to catch me doing a little bit of Blackwing Lair, but anyway, let's jump into answering this question. So the simple answer is, most of the time, sharpening stones just simply do not beat the DPS of instant poison. But one thing you have to consider, there's many enemies in Molten Core, particularly Trash, and a few bosses which are totally immune to poisons. And there will likely be bosses in the future which are also immune to poisons or have resistance to poison damage. So when you're doing Molten Core, you're clearing Trash and doing particular bosses that are immune to poison. For instance, Ragnaros at the end, it's definitely much more worthwhile to apply a dense sharpening stone or an elemental sharpening stone if you can afford it rather than using instant poison because that instant poison damage just it will just will not happen it will be totally resisted and because the bosses are totally immune to the damage now if you look at the auction house right now elemental sharpening stones are pretty ridiculous so right now they're going nearly 13 gold a pop so and here is 74 gold for five of them so they're pretty expensive but then sharpening stones are not too expensive they're like, you think you can get a stack for 5 gold, which isn't too bad. In fact, you can get a stack for 1 gold. Plus, you can get, in fact, you can get a stack for 20 for 5 gold, so that isn't bad. So, when you're dealing with, is it, I think it's Golmag, or I can't remember the name of the boss, but obviously Ragnaros, and when you're dealing with trash packs, it's definitely worthwhile switching up to a dense sharpening stone if you want to optimise your DPS, you're trying to get the, you know, trying to do some speed running or stuff, stuff like that, because instant poison is just totally useless against elemental enemies, so you may as well just pick a dense sharpening stone up. So the next big question you're probably asking is, well, what about daggers? Because obviously when you play with daggers, rotation is mostly just spamming backstab, which deals damage based on the percentage of your total weapon damage. So isn't the enchant for increased weapon damage and the, you know, a dense sharpening stone, wouldn't it that simply be better than using instant poison? And unfortunately, the answer to that is no. I've looked at the Warcraft logs. I've looked at speedrunning logs, people who have defeated a Molten Core in like, you know, less than half an hour. None of them are using dense sharpening stones. All of them are using instant poison. I think the proc rate from instant poison just simply out damages a dense sharpening stone pretty much all of the time. So whenever you can use instant poison and benefit from instant poison on a boss that isn't immune to poison damage or has some kind of resistance to poison damage, instant poison is always, always going to be better. And that's simply because the, the amount of damage that proc from instant poison is pretty lethal and is pretty decent and you really just cannot beat it. Then from there, the next big question you're probably asking is, well, what about when you get better gear? What about when we're decked out in tier 3 gear? Uh, won't the dense sharpening stone scale the, the total weapon damage to be obviously really high and therefore that backstab damage would be massively increased. The simple answer to that question is no. Okay, so I've done some calculations. Uh, here I am absolutely decked out in tier 3 gear. What I've done, this first calculation is the amount of damage a backstab would do roughly, you know, totally unbuffed and obviously without the extra added damage that backstab does. This is just the pure weapon damage um, that's dealt by the backstab calculated, so it's obviously it's going to be much higher. Back, the actual backstab damage is going to be much higher than this. Obviously, it's going to crit over like way over 1k and stuff like that. But this is just I'm just calculating the actual weapon weapon percent damage with this. So this is what it would do without the weapon uh, weapon damage and chance superior striking without a dense sharpening stone. Obviously, with instant poison instead. And this is what the damage would be. So it's 447 compared to four. If I make that smaller. 466.5, which is a total DPS increase of, or a damage increase of 19 damage added on to every backstab. And obviously, there's a little bit of it, I think it's like, well, it's only 5 at 8, so it's 12, I think, yeah. So an extra 12 damage added on to your melee strikes as well. Which obviously isn't that much if you consider the amount of damage that instant poison does. If I, that's actually the totally wrong client there. If I type learn all my class. Looks like because I'm on a rough server the poisons are slightly different, they're slightly buffed. 
but obviously they do 112 to 148 nature damage which is quite a significant amount compared to just the minor increase of you know 19 extra backstab damage and it has a 20 percent chance to proc so it's going to proc quite a lot it will take a massive bump in weapon dps to actually out overcome just the proc damage of instant poison you really cannot fault it obviously we have to have talk about horde very briefly if you have a shaman in your group then you shouldn't be using poisons or dance sharpening stones at all so it makes your life even easier to be honest so to sum up as far as i can see there's really no use to ever use a sharpening stone in apart from in situations where you're against bosses that are totally immune to nature damage obviously the elemental sharpening stone stacked twice will increase your crit chance by four added with mongoose uh, elixir will obviously increase that to six percent so that's obviously a massive bump in crit. I think the elemental sharpening stones are probably better than the dense sharpening stones when it comes to increasing your DPS, you know, when you're speed running and stuff like that. However, obviously they are ridiculously expensive, so you may just want to, you know, stack up some dense sharpening stones for those situations when you're doing a bit of Molten Core, or bosses in Anchorage, which are totally immune, and Zulgarub most likely, which are just immune to nature damage. And that pretty much concludes the video. I am almost thinking that the plus 5 weapon damage on the, the actual enchant for daggers may not actually be best in slot compared to Crusader Strike since Crusader Strike is such a bump in strength and it does actually... Um, well, it doesn't. I think, yeah, it stacks, basically. So if you have two Crusader enchants, it does actually stack, so you can actually get an increase of 200 strength, which is pretty ridiculous by my calculations about... Uh, when you take off Cadaverous Armor, if I show you very quickly on the main, and um, if we look at my weapon damage when I take off Cadav Cadaverous Armor, which is roughly 60 attack power plus 16, so it's a 76 attack power. If I take this off, my weapon damage drops by 10. Okay, so 100 attack power gained from 100 strength is going to be in the ballpark of about, you know, 15 extra weapon damage. And obviously that can stack twice. So I will do my calculations before I outright claim that Crusader is actually better on a dagger than the weapon damage. Because it you know, I might be wrong. But nonetheless, I will be making a massive weapon enchant video, you know, like a really big guide on weapon enchants for warriors and rogues and I get I guess hunters and rep paladins and stuff like that coming very soon. Anyway, my name is Metagoblin to my next video. Ciao.